Hi, I'm Ann Schmidt, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you link all your same courses together in Schoology to save you time so that you can use your time for other things like making great content. So what I have is five advanced chem sections, and I'm going to link them all together. So when I add an assignment, a folder, um, an update, I only have to do that one time. When I first started using Schoology, I didn't know you could do this. And when I found out, I was like, why have I not been doing this forever? You will still have separate grades for those classes and separate members. It just links all the content you're putting in, and you only have to do it one time. I'll also be going over some things I think you should add to your bio before your class starts and you have your first day. Um, the other thing is in the description of this YouTube video and all my YouTube videos on this Schoology 101 course that I have a playlist in my YouTube channel, so feel free to subscribe and follow that. The Google presentation has all of the videos I've made and I plan to make, hopefully, in this early fall of the first, maybe first semester. All right, so let's get going. Let's get our courses linked to save ourselves some time and use it for other things. All right, here we go. So going to Schoology, first thing I had to do was I had to find all of my fall courses um, or I would say fall, winter, or my first semester courses, okay? So first thing I had to do was I had to find all of my first semester courses, and the duplicates are in there because that's just what my school district does. So this is a section of Advanced Chem second semester, so I don't want to link that one. And I put a picture in there so I kind of know which ones are which. All right, so click My Courses, and if you didn't add a picture, it's still fine. It's still going to link the right ones because what you're going to do is pick your first um 1A, and I'm going to go on this little gear icon, click that, and then click Link Existing Section. Choose all the sections you want to link. So for me, it's all five total. You can see they're putting them all together. Hit Next or click on the Next. Now, normally I would click this, but we just updated PowerSchool, and PowerSchool, it says, is an SIS gradebook now. So I don't know if this is going to work, and that's actually part of my later videos once we start collecting a lot of grades to see if maybe these two, um, Schoology and PowerSchool will communicate because they are, I think, owned now by the same company. So download and next. And then this is just saying, are you sure you want to do this? It's going to link all these things. Yes, I do. Link sections. Click that. And then what I want to do is kind of show you what that means. Okay, so I'm going to go back to those courses. I'm just going to pick the first one. And what I'm going to, I'm going to do is I'm going to add that last block B that I'm going to have to teach for my course. So what I need to do is I have it all set somewhere else. I actually have it in my Schoology 101 course down here. And I'm just going to take that last one, which is actually in 2021. Can you believe it? I'm getting ready already that early. Copy to course. And I'm not quite sure why this is happening because usually this just shows up once, but it's showing up numerous times. I found out if you just check the first one, it'll be good. And I'll show you I'm not wrong. I'm going to copy that folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my courses. And I'm just going to show you that, of course, it's there. That one, I think, is the one that you would be like, of course, it's there. Here's my 10th hour. And it is there, too. So I'm not quite sure why it showed up so many times. Maybe that's just a glitch right now. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to add in this class, I'm going to add a fake assignment. I'm just going to add like an event. So I'm going to go to September. I'm just going to pick this day. I'm going to delete it anyway. And I'll show you that when I delete it, it leaves all of them. Um, I'm just going to say hello, chemistry students, and then have create it. I'm going to go back. And then I'm just going to pick this one over here. So I don't think I picked that one. You can see that it's right there. Let's go back to the first hour. Um, it's there just to prove it one more time. Seeing is believing right here is the 11th hour and it's there. Now what I'm also going to do right now is I'm going to get rid of it. And when I, sh when I show you that, that's kind of cool if you make a mistake. What's nice is then if you want to get rid of this item, I'm going to hit edit. Oop, nope, not edit, view. And I want to get rid of it. It will get rid of it in all of them. So this is gone. So unless some students snuck into Schoology, they wouldn't even know this is happening. All right. So it's gone from all the courses. Let me just pick on, let's pick this one, this 11th hour. And it's gone from there also, okay? So when you put in an update, an assignment, an event, everything in a folder, you can link it to all of them. Saves you a lot of time. The members and the gradebook is still separate for that one class though, okay? The last thing is go up here and, you know, you might want to add a photo and at least a description to your uh, profile so students can see you, especially if you're 100% online and they're not going to see you 
uh, for quite a while probably. So I think it's important for them to have a picture uh, in your Schoology account so that up here you just don't have some random missing icon, okay? Um, and that's just the same way I taught you with the first video that I said, add, you know, add a picture. All right, I think that's it. Let me go back um, and just kind of double check. And I'm going to try to think if I had showed you everything. The last thing I could do, I guess, is I could show you that when you go back to my courses, you know, they are all linked together. So here's my, this is that second semester. Um, and then I don't need to link my AP because I only have one this year, which is really unusual. Usually I have more than that. Okay. So that's it. So I hope that helps you be way more efficient and save yourself some time. Um, like I said, it was one of those game changers for me that I was like, I was wasting so much of my time adding things to all five courses and it was just kind of ridiculous. So I hope that helps. Um, again, if you want to follow this playlist, um, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you have any questions. Of course, give a like that makes me feel like I'm helping out people around um, the United States and maybe beyond with Schoology. Um, good luck, teachers, and we're, we are all in this together.